there's a way to I always feel now when I when I'm trying to help my mates think is to ask them open questions. Yeah, yeah. Do you do you think do you think it, do you think you'll ever have enough or ever be ready? Yeah. I, and I'm not saying that's the solution in that instance, but I think it helps people. People don't really. It's called the eureka moment. People don't. You don't understand a subject until the penny drops. So I could explain to you a certain theory about something. And you could be able to repeat it back to me, but you still might not understand it. Mm. It's only until you get that eureka moment when the, really the penny drops yeah. that you can explain it in different ways and use examples. And that means you really understand. It. And I think a lot of the time we don't really get that until we draw the conclusion ourselves. So sometimes I try that. But will, 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 it, will, will you ever be ready for kids? And like if, if they're good together and they're solid together, then I don't know, like, Children have been the destruction of relationships. Mm. They have been, um, they you know, they can put unnecessary pressure when people do it to keep a relationship together or something like that. Yeah, but, intention. But like, but like, but like, if you're good together and you're mostly secure and you've been together quite a while, it might be fine. And there's loads of people who've had kids and that's really made them go up a notch. I, oh, I know a lot of creative yeah. people especially in the creative world, less so in my, my professional friends, uh, professional, I mean, like, yeah. say, like, the, yeah. the, 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 the white-collar friends. Yes. They seem to have a less of a panic about this. <clears throat> and it has less, I guess, less of an impact in a way. But for my creative friends, it actually has made their creativity mm. really come out because they they have almost feel that they've, they've got to get it done. No. Instead of, like, this having this unlimited deadline. Yeah. To, uh, no, I, I, you know, I totally do. feel like that. And I think... When you say, if you if if you and your partner, you know, when you're about to have children, if you feel if you feel good, if you're on solid ground, if you're comfortable, if you really are in it together, you know, and the timing's right. I mean, that because that's just what happened for for me and my wife. It was like, it was just the thing. It was the thing that was missing. You know, the timing was just right in, on her narrative and on mine. And although I had that like, whoa, what the fuck? Right, okay, okay, and I, you know, right, okay, get it together, and. I did get it together and I spent time and because I was 32 and not 22, you know, I did jump on the internet and I, I saw out, like I came across a um, psychologist, Gabor Mate, who, oh, yeah. who is amazing. If you know his work, I mean, his whole thing is about trauma, but he talks about, I think I came across him actually in Zeitgeist 3. Is it Zeitgeist? Well, I haven't seen Zeitgeist 3 actually. It was really interesting because it was all I've about environment. It. So it had been in context with this conversation actually, yeah. but it's, yeah, yeah, it's well worth a watch. But I, yeah. I, it was him who stuck out to me and I, I got on his work. But he was talking about in utero and how baby in utero is so sensitive to everything. The nutrition, the food, the stress of mother, the conversations, the voices, the music. And we, I just happened to be like, right, in that mindset where I just went on it, right, okay, well, and from day one, I knew, I, my wife, who was game for me coming on these YouTube rabbit holes and stuff, you know, she went like over, and again, this sounds trivial and silly, she's not just watching Corey, you know, and like, here's me on my laptop mm. and shouting, oh, yeah, yeah, she was like, okay, let's have a look, you know, and she was keen, she was yeah, game to right. see... And then when she was listening to the, to Gabor Mate speak or whichever psychologist or whichever doctor or researcher, she was like, oh, wow. And then before you know it, we're going to bed every night. We're talking to him. We name them early and we're t wow. calling them by the names. I was playing Alan Watts at night. So when we were going off to sleep oh, in the wow. bed, we had Alan Watts like, playing at night. So we were listening, obviously, f for our own benefit. But like knowing that all of this stuff is going in. So I was really lucky in that way. But my point is, is that my wife and I were like scared, but like, okay, let's do it. And it, for us, it's been, it's been a blessing. It's been a real blessing. It's been the the, the piece of the pie that, for a couple of quite anarchic and uh, destructive people that we have been, my wife and I, mm -hmm. it seems to have given us that level of responsibility and meaning and um, binding. That's um, hopefully what you're seeing when you have a look on the old Instagram and stuff. Yeah, you know, like when I'm when I'm. When I'm having a 